Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, your ultimate source for the latest in Apple tech and innovation. Today, we're diving deep into one of the most anticipated Apple releases of 2025, the M5 Mac Mini. Whether you're a creative professional, a coder, a casual user, or just an Apple fan curious about what's coming next, the next generation Mac Mini is shaping up to be a compact powerhouse that might just change the game again. In this video, we'll be covering the first leaks and rumors about the M5 Mac Mini, its top 10 expected features, speculated performance benchmarks, expected pricing and configurations, and of course, the release date window so grab your favorite drink, smash that like button and let's break down everything we know so far about the upcoming M5 Mac Mini. Background and introduction before we get into the juicy leaks. Let's talk context. Apple's Mac Mini lineup has always stood at the intersection of performance and compact design. With the M1 Mac Mini in 2020, Apple made its big leap into Apple. Silicon delivering blazing fast performance in a small form factor. The M2 and M2 Pro versions pushed this even further in 2023. With better GPU, faster memory bandwidth, and more ports. Now, with the M3 skipped in the Mac Mini lineup, Apple is directly moving to M5, which will likely be built on a set 3 nanometers N3E architecture, promising incredible power efficiency and graphics performance. But what does this mean for the Mac Mini in 2025? Let's dive into the rumors. M5 Mac Mini design and form factor. According to early leaks from industry insiders like Mark Gurman and supply chain analysts, the M5 Mac Mini may retain the same minimalistic aluminum design as its predecessors. But with minor thermal and port enhancements, key design rumors new thermal system to accommodate higher GPU performance, slightly larger base for better airflow, potential color options like midnight, silver or space black inspired by MacBook Air M3, thinner or bezel less LED status light on the front, so visually it might look similar but under the hood it's an entirely different beast's top 10 new features in one M5 chip with 7 gene 3 nanometers N3E architecture the biggest change is the processor the M5 chip is expected to be based on TSMC's N3E node which is more efficient and powerful than the current M3 up to 10 CAPU Cori SACE Performance Plus for efficiency. 12 to 14 core GPU, potentially integrated with hardware ray tracing and dynamic, catching dot dramatic improvements in AIML performance via the next gen neural engine. 2. Boosted unified memory support up to 32 gigabytes while the base model might start with 8 gigabytes. The M5 Mac Mini is rumored to support up to 32 gigabytes of unified memory. Ideal for heavier workflows memory bandwidth expected to exceed 150 gigabytes S enhanced memory. Compression and GPU sharing for better real-time rendering. 3. Enhanced GPU for pro workloads and gaming apples. Focus on gaming is real with game mode in Mac OS Sequoia and rumors of Metal 4. The M5 Mac Mini could support hardware-based ray tracing mesh, shading better external GPU compatibility. Perfect for creators and indie developers. Four next-gen neural engine and ML accelerators. Apple's M5 will likely house a 32-core neural engine offering up to 80% faster ML processing, seamless integration with AI tools in Logic Pro, Final Cut, and X. Improved thermals and acoustic performance with more power comes more heat. The M5 Mac Mini is rumored to feature a dual fan cooling system, larger internal heat spreaders, quieter fan profile even at high loads. Six, Thunderbolt 5 ports plus Wi-Fi 7. Yes, Thunderbolt 5 is coming, and the Mac Mini M5 could be one of the first devices to feature it. Up to 80 GBps bandwidth. Dot support for dual 6K or even single 8K monitors. Dot WiFi 7 and Bluetooth 5.4 for ultra low latency connections. Point seven. Upgraded display support expect better display capabilities dual displays at 6k 60 Hertz optional support for 1 by 8k at 60 Hertz 1 by 4k at 144g dot Mac OS Sequoia optimizations for external monitors 8 modular storage options up to 4t by rumors suggest Apple might offer configurable SSD options up to 4tb dot use gen 5 on V my flash storage for blazing fast load times point nine mac os sequoia with ai powered features running mac os sequoia out of the box ai system-wide tools for summarizing replying and optimizing workflows native siri upgrades smarter spotlight and enhanced continuity across apple devices.10 eco-friendly internals and recycled aluminum body apple continues its sustainability push 100 percent recycled aluminum casing rare 
earth magnets and logic boards from recycled materials, lower carbon footprint in production and shipping, expected benchmarks and performance while actual benchmarks aren't out yet, we can extrapolate from leaked performance data for the A19 Bionic and early M5 prototypes multi-core Geekbench 6 core. 16,000 single core 3,200 dot up to 35%, better GPU rendering speed compared to M2 Pro Mac Mini. Neural engine throughput, 65 trillion. Operations per second. Ports and connectivity expect a generous selection of ports for X Thunderbolt. 5 per USB for ports 2X USB a 3.2 Gen 2 1X HDMI, 2.2 or 2.38 K capable gigabit or 10 gigabits Ethernet, 3.5 millimeters. Headphone jack with high impedance support. Price expectations expected pricing tiers USM 5 Mac, Mini 8 GB, RAM 256 GB, SSD, 599 million dollars 5 Mac Mini, 16 GB, 512 GB, SSD, 799 million dollars 5 Mac Mini 32 GB, 1 TB SSD 1 dollar, 099, optional pro version with M5 Pro chip later, 1299 dollars, plus considering the performance, that's a strong value proposition. Release date, the M5 Mac Mini is expected to launch between October and November 2025. Apple may unveil it alongside the M5 MacBook Pro or as part of a late year. Mac event. Expect invites in late October and shipping in early November 2025. So there you have it. Everything we know so far about the upcoming M5 Mac Mini, from its powerful new chip and upgraded ports to a i-powered software and potential 8K support. This could be Apple's most powerful compact desktop yet. Are you planning to upgrade to the M5 Mac Mini, or are you sticking with your M2 or Intel version? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this deep dive, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an Apple update. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.